This futuristic looking aircraft is called a Cozy Mark IV. I built it from scratch using only this set of plans. And today I'm gonna to take you along for a ride. Let's go. Hey guys, I'm Russ and this is my Cozy Mark IV. It's built entirely from those set of plans that I showed you earlier. Most parts and materials I bought raw and fabricated nearly every part myself in my garage. It took me about four and a half years worth of nights and weekends. I estimate on average that I spent about three hours a weeknight and five hours a day on the weekends. Doing the math, that adds up to about 6,000 hours building this thing. That's kind of a lot when you think about it. In this video, I'm gonna answer some commonly asked questions that I get a lot about my airplane. Why does it park on the nose? There's a few reasons for that. First of all, it looks cool. And that's the number one reason to do anything in aviation. Second, the nose retracts in the air to gain some speed and efficiency. Third, the nose retracts on the ground and places the nose on a specially built pad that acts like a parking brake for the airplane. It keeps the wind and weather from blowing it around. How fast does it fly? My top speed is about 180 knots or 200 miles an hour. At that speed, I'll burn about 14 gallons an hour, but I very rarely fly that fast. On a typical flight, loaded up with my wife and luggage, cruising at about 8,500 feet, with the engine set for economy, I'll do 162 knots in cruise, burning 8.5 gallons an hour. To relate this to road trips in a car, that's about 22 miles a gallon. But the difference is, I get to do 22 miles a gallon at three times faster than a car and in a straight line. Chrissy and I like to use this to get away to the beach for the weekend. For us, it's about six hours by car and about one and a half hours in the cozy. What's it made out of? It's mostly constructed from foam and fiberglass. Fiberglass is glass fibers weaved into a cloth. It's then coated with a glue called resin, which absorbs into the fabric and then cures into strong surface layers. The basic build process is to cut a piece of foam to shape, like a wing airfoil or a flat bulkhead here, and then slap some wet fiberglass on it and let it cure. It's very easy to work with for the average Joe, as it can be cut with scissors, knives, or a saw and shaped with sandpaper. And don't worry, it's not itchy like fiberglass insulation in your house. Well, it's a little itchy. How far does it fly? We can fly for about five hours or a thousand nautical miles before we have to stop for fuel. But to be honest, three and a half hours is about as long of a leg as I want to go before I need to get out and stretch my legs. I would like to point out that another friend of mine who, who flies a Cozy has managed to pull off eight hour, 1500 nautical mile legs in his Cozy. So I'm by no means stretching the performance of this thing. I'm just giving you my realistic data from an average Joe pilot. The Cozy is capable of a lot more performance than I'm willing to bring out of it. What avionics did you install? I installed a full Garmin G3X touch system. I went with the smaller 7 inch screen so I could make as much room for my knees as possible. I'm 6 foot 2 and very leggy. This is my primary display. This is my secondary display. This is my autopilot control. This is the intercom. And this is the GPS IFR navigator. This is a backup instrument in case everything else goes away for some reason. Hopefully not. What mods did you do? So the Cozy is an interesting aircraft. Because you built it from scratch, it's pretty straightforward to make any type of modifications that you want to. Customize it for you exactly, like how I did for my knees in the instrument panel. Another thing I did was add these side windows here. They add quite a bit of nice visibility along the side, and they clear up a bit of space for your hands when you're grabbing the throttle. I added this pretty cool looking hinged front compartment. It pops open from the inside and has no fasteners visible from the outside. I added a heated pedo. And I added this rear luggage cell. The plane is capable of carrying four people, but I have the rear seats set up for luggage. Why is it backwards? One word, stall proof. Or maybe that's two words. Now let's take a look at the Cozy. The design is referred to as a canard because it has a main wing in the back and a smaller wing up front. The smaller wing up front is also called a canard, which is where it gets its name. It's a little confusing, isn't it? Both wings provide lift, approximately 80% from the main wing and 20% from the canard. The two wings are designed in conjunction so that the canard stalls before the main wing stalls. When that happens, it causes the nose to pitch down slightly and allows it to recover from the stall. But at no point does the main wing stop flying. This is an important point because the main wing cannot get slow enough to stall. It is unstallable. This makes the airplane stall proof and it completely eliminates the possibility of spins. Thanks so much for joining me on this flight. I'm so happy to share this with you. It's been a long journey to get here. See you guys later. Thank you.